Hi, welcome to Dr. Caligari part five. From the kind of perspective of artistic history, all artworks tend to speak to each other. And since 1920, films kind of developed a lot. And I've been really interested in the very opening moment of Dr. Caligari, where an old man is talking and saying there are, there are spirits. And so you can see there are spirits everywhere. And then the next person says, hmm, I've got a story better than that. Um, so it starts with the end of another story, um, which is a technique that gets kind of used a lot. If you, th if you think about um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom starts with the end of the previous adventure and then moves in to the new one. You can, you can set up a, a, kind of a, lot of, a lot to do with atmosphere and character by doing that. And also, uh, what's very interesting for me is, is within the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, you start that framing mechanism. Um, so you never quite know where you are because you've, it's already been set up that you're within a storytelling place and one story is being told to someone else and so another story, you, you're building that uh, Russian doll of stories and truth and reality. Um, uh, in the last vlog that I did there was a lot about Andy Warhol's Blowjob movie from 1964 and actually when you analyse that movie you, you see that it's actually it's not one continuous thing, it's got lots of cuts in it. So again once you once you sort of look at it you think hello uh, this, this, is this real, is this not real? Um, what is this about? It's filmed at 24 frames a second, but it's shown, I think, at 19 frames a second, so it's it's slowed down, and it actually the whole piece lasts about 27 minutes, and it's all in sort of semi-slow motion, and um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exercise in time and reality um, and truth uh, and voyeurism, really all of which seems to relate back to Dr. Caligari, which carries all those themes. Um, so we've been looking at what this other story could be. So we've been creating another story and we've been, as I say, artworks speak to each other. And we've been looking at mainly Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo, which is a film about possession and, uh, and very complex hidden murders um, and obsession. Um, and uh, so we're playing with that as an idea. So we've been we've been trying to find ways to to translate the end of another story into our into our theatrical stage performance. Um, and so I thought you might like to just have a brief look at that. Thanks. <laughs>